Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. Oh yes, we decided to go western since the president's going west. Does that mean he's going to a dude ranch? Hmm. Well, anyway, you gotta always have some western attire in the wardrobe. Anyway, for now, we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <sighs> Just like Monty. <sighs> she gives a sigh. She does. So she dying, I can tell. <laughs> And it's all over for the Republicans? Well, they said that the Republicans are so splintered now that uh, it, there's no way that this party is ever going to recover. And uh, John McCain is basically saying that there's no Republican candidate that can beat Hillary. So it looks like the, the Democrats are going to maintain the office for another eight years. I, I hate to tell Mr. McCain that. But she is a senior citizen, and they have the days of anybody electing senior citizens. You really have to be exceptional. And since the Republicans are going to eat her alive, and so anybody running against her. I mean, they already backed her down over Obama being black. You don't think that, it, that some other candidate will back her down over some other reason? Mm-hmm. I know. She never should have backed down on that one. See, the election was her. They all admit that if she had just simply ran and ignored it, she would have been the president, yep. and nobody would have had this problem with Obama. And White House, all the scandals are phony. Well, yeah, they have, this morning they hit a Garv, Carvey. They want to know just which scandals that the president considers phony. And he said, well, he said they're all phony. He said it's just Republicans trying. That if basically, they mm -hmm. did repeat the thing. They don't think that a black president should have ever been elected, and they're doing everything they can to sabotage the black president. And that's when he got hit by CNN. He said, you mean... The, the, uh, the four men that were killed in Benghazi, that, uh, that no, no help was sent to them, and they let them, lay, they let them lay where they were at until the next day, that's a phony scandal. And when there's no investigation going on to find out who gave the orders not to come to the rescue, that's a phony scandal. Uh, they said that the Internal Revenue Service, who they have admitted deliberately targeted people, but it's not a scandal. And then mm -hmm. they said that the, the 2,200 guns that hold or let be delivered to Mexican drug lords that are being used to care, kill people on the border and government officials, that's not a scandal. And he said the thing with Snowden and the NSA and the President of the United States targeting every single American, that's not a scandal. And he said, well, the, he said the President takes all these serious, but they're just not to the level of scandals. And then he said, oh, he said, and then the fact that we were able to find and talk to the mastermind of the mm -hmm. Benghazi thing, which you said yesterday, prove once and for all it's not a scandal, whom said it was never a spontaneous thing. It was a well thought out attack on the United States by Benghazi. And he said, well, the president is, is looking into that fact, that trying to find out why that they uh, could not find the man that CNN found. And, and the guy said, I love this, he gave these two words, bullshit. Mm -hmm. So that their Obama is on the run. They said that uh, they they said that they, the people that are basically on the left are doing their statistics. No president has collapsed as early as he has in a second term. None. And President Obama to nominate John Koskin a new IRS commissioner. This was on the heels of the appointing the other commissioner, who who Obama said had solved all the problems, and now. They're appointing a new commissioner because it looks like the guy did. Okay, there as of last week, the IRS is still targeting uh, conservative groups. As of last week, and they haven't stopped. Mm -hmm. And John McCain goes to President's send off for the Democrats and is cheered. Well, he supposedly accidentally walked into the the House and Senate Democratic chambers and didn't know that he was walking into it. And the president raised his hand above, took John McCain and raised his hand above his head, and they cheered McCain. Uh, you know what Herbie Daddy says? Is John McCain getting ready to switch parties? Oh, God, yes. And guess who? The president of the United States is sending to Egypt to talk to the Egyptian military about returning Morrissey to power. Oh, it's John McCain. <laughs> and Lindsey Graham, who supports the president. Isn't that something? And new, new Snowden leak upstages U.S. move to declassify documents. They were going to do it all along. 
the problem was the snow, because of the Snowden problem, they simply delayed on doing what the plan, the president ordered that these things be declassified just as soon as he found out it was being done. Well, it hadn't been done until he was president. So guess who ordered it to be done on? Oh, it got worse this morning. It seems that the uh, Russians released a thing through Pravda that said that no, they released evidence of the fact that anyone at NSA can order the reviewing of all of a person's information on their own without having to have any court order. Mm. They know exactly what you're doing, who you're calling, how long you're talking to them. All they do is, on their own initiative, they can pick up a phone and listen in or record what you're saying. And new Snowden leak upstages the U.S. move to declassify documents. Yeah, she likes that one. Oh. Well, Boeing parts issues continue. But it, yeah, well, it's going to continue, so it's what? Well, no and, reason for it not to. And O.J. Simpson decision, how did he get parole but can't go free? Uh, they decided to break the rules. He what was is the deal? Okay, no, he's serving the sentences concurrently. So what they did was decided that the... the uh, the authorities decided to separate the sentences now. He's no longer serving concurrent sentences. He's serving non-concurrent sentences. The next sentence started as soon as he was pardoned. Oh. No, it's on the books. They said that what's going to mm -hmm. happen now is that the judge will probably grant his, his, his uh, thing for the new trial and then they will simply uh, decide the time served because, uh, what did Herbie Daddy say? A concurrent sentence means they're being served at the same time, not one after another. The object was, was that under the way they said, under the way they said it now, Simpson would never get out of jail because it's just well, you were, you know, you're going to have to serve the gun charge next. Then you're going to have to serve the uh, kidnapping charge. Then you're going to have to I serve, mean, no concurrent. That's what the judge. The, the judge is not happy. The judge said, I have it in front of me. The words are concurrent. They are not separate. Well, and here's the other part is, is Remember, it's like how many times are they trying the same thing? I mean, you know, part of it is he's going to be... Well, they're trying him. They, changed, they, separated the, they separated the charges now to be individual and no longer running concurrent. They're running separately. That As soon as he's filled out one, one, one set and his pardon, no, the judge said, I pardoned him. Yeah, this is, is like politics it doesn't get involved at all. No, right? not politics. Yeah. Boehner's passive-aggressive style heightens risk of government shutdown. Because the guy is totally incompetent. He knows, uh, okay, here it works, is that they know that Boehner and 38 Demo Republicans will join with the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, to give the President all the new spending. Oh, God, I mean, you got to believe. This morning they were talking about it's the duty of the Republicans. The CBO has said that, we will add 800,000 new jobs a year as soon as the Republicans stop this ridiculous sequester that they created. And then I heard the guy saying, okay, these are the words from the CBO, as soon as the Republicans stop the sequester that they created. And they said, it's certain that is what we have been told. The guy said it can't be because the Republicans didn't create this sequester. You guys created it. Mm -hmm. This is your plan. Republicans went along with your plan, so therefore... Uh, shall we? Uh, he said, "Wait a second. I'm going to have somebody get hold of the Congressional Budget Office and ask them if they made the well. They said something like that. Yeah. And want to know like what? Well, it might that this if the sequester was ended, it might. It, there's a difference between would and might, folks. And Senate presses ahead with media shield law. Yeah, uh, basically that's basically kicking Obama between the." the eyes, that one, because they don't trust him and they don't trust Holder. So they're going to take the powers away from him. And NSA official says no one fired or offered to resign over Snowden. Uh, I listened to a guy yesterday, he said, uh, well, he said it's very simple. He said if anyone at NSA has the authority to act on their own, nobody, you, you basically have to go to the person at, the, oh, who's the person at the top of the food chain? His name happens to be Eric Holder. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, it, it's been this way since the beginning of the broadcasting industry. When you do, when you make a goof live, it's there for everybody to see.